With measures in place to prevent the spread of coronavirus, even essential businesses have had to change policies. KTTC's Alex Tejada spoke to bike shops that remain open, giving some people a way to work and others a way to relax. A bike shop is not normally the first thing that comes to mind when you think essential. Bikes are crucial for people to get around and get where they need to go. Not only a ride to work, but these days, one of the few available recreational options. It's a great option, and there's a lot of different facets to it. There's a lot of styles of bikes, so usually you can find a bike that's going to suit somebody's needs. We're just trying to um, have some fun while we're stuck at home and not a lot to do. Bike shops are normally busy this time of year, yet demand has been even higher this week. We did have a lot of people in here. Um, people are buying bikes like crazy. So much so, new policies had to be added, as well as shorter hours, but there is still plenty of work. We've got a lot of work orders to do. People are getting their bikes tuned up and ready for summer. Um, there's only 10 people allowed in the store at once, including employees, um, and everyone's required to use hand sanitizer on entry. Both Austin and its Freeborn County neighbor have plenty of trails to ride. Albert Lee's a very bike friendly city. We have Fountain Lake. As well as county roads that are perfect for gravel biking. And that has been a very popular uh, type of riding and we have some very unique gravel roads around here to ride on. So yeah, that has been picking up. There's plenty of reasons to get out on two wheels. I just got a new bike and it's like gonna be one of the nicest days of the week. A lot of times you can get in some areas where you normally don't drive the, your, your car and some of the areas are very scenic. In Freeborn and Mauer Counties, Alex Tejada, KTTC News.